Hey guys, Aaron here for the Love of Tech, and today I'm bringing you iOS 12. You absolutely heard me correct. It is not released, it is still on the stove, it is still simmering, but certain parts of it are ready and available, and I wanted to share that with you. We saw all these cool new things yesterday, and I wanted to take a moment and share them with you, giving you your first look at iOS 12. First things first, I want to go ahead and just show you guys the notification shade. Check this out. Look at all of our notifications. They are totally grouped together. You guys can go ahead and check out all the cool notifications that I have. Now, that was it for my notifications. And I know that might seem like a lot just taking a look at it. Let me go ahead, let me show you my YouTube notifications. So you swipe over, you can click on manage. Look at this, you can deliver quietly, turn off, jump right into your settings and you can control how you wanna see your YouTube notifications going forward. So let's go ahead and just clear this so you guys can see. Okay, clear all, boom. All right, so there is my American Express. We're gonna clear that. Here's my Google Assistant. Let's click on view and see what Google Assistant's showing me. So that's about it. All right, guys, we just finished taking a look at group notifications. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Memojis. So we're gonna come over here. Here is, uh, I was playing with Memojis a little bit earlier today, and we're gonna come over here and just take a look at this, and we're gonna go ahead and create a brand new Memoji. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a little fun, have a little excitement, maybe uh, play with the color a little bit. So I'm gonna give myself a little blue Memoji. All right, so bring your face, it wants you to bring your face into view. Because as you can see, as I'm talking, it's mimicking me. So let's go ahead and just get us some pretty cool looking hair. I think I think I can get on board with this. All right, let's, I don't know, maybe, maybe this. Maybe this is the hair I would want if I had hair. Maybe more, more like that. I think that's more my style if I had hair. All right, let's go ahead and let's fix the shape of my head. Let's get a little bit of roundness there. I mean, you can, I got a camera and a mirror, so I know what I got. All right, let's go ahead and change our eyes to a really, really light, light uh, green. Look at that. All right, so let's get some eyebrows going on. Let's get some some really thick eyebrows. There we go. Now let's get some nose and lips. All right. Now we're, now we're making some progress. Now let's get some lips on me. Let's, there we go. All right. And let's get some ears. Let's get some good old ears there. Let's. How about we get some an earring, huh? Some studs, a loop. No, no earring for me. All right. So, facial hair. Boom done. I wear, let's get some glasses so you guys know it's me. Let's get some glasses. Headwear. Okay, well, we're not going to cover up all that hair. Come on, guys. All that work on all that hair. We're not going to cover it up. And now we're done. Let's go ahead and let's, let's take a look at the photo app because they really talked about this was, okay, so let's, let's come over here and let's put in trees. All right. This is what it gave me. All my trees, my Christmas trees, my moments, and palm trees. It knows the difference between palm trees, Christmas trees, all sorts of trees and shrubbery in my life. Look at that. It like it knows the difference. Let's put in California. There we are, California. And it knows all the pictures that I've taken when I was in California. Look at that. All of our pictures. Someone put a finger up there. Good job, guys. All of our pictures. Whoa, whoa. We don't want to see that. All right, so now let's come over here. Let's put in cars. So I have not gone through and intensely classified all of my pictures. So this is pretty amazing. It does it all on its own. Let's do kids. Let's see. what What is it? So one, one picture of kids. All right, so one picture of the kids. That's about it. All right, it's kind of kind of boring. This picture. Oh well, it looks like it just died on us, didn't it? Trips. All right, so there there's a bug that we seem to keep seeing. But look, it even it knows the names of the kids and all that stuff. We've got some dogs. Oh, uh oh, not working that good. That's 
not quite up to speed, is it? This works though. So here are all of the dogs and all of the locations. So this this works out pretty good. Um, put in dogs. It's got all my pictures of all my puppies. Look. At, okay. So here it is. It's pretty good. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at this stocks app and see what we have going on. So this is what the big deal was, right? Now it's actually giving us news in the stock app. So now is it just not stocks, it's things related to the stocks, which is pretty cool. Here we go. It says iPhones won't see a tariff. All right. So that is good. All right. So now let's, let's flip this up. Now we're going to come back over here. Oh, sorry. We're going to come back over here and we're going to go to the measure app. Now I'm going to go ahead and measure, right, my laptop. And we're going to start right there at the corner. We're going to boom. It's like we're painting it. Then boom. Okay. We're going to tap it again. We're going to come over here. Get that out of the way. We're going to go boom. We're going to tap it again. Let's give it a little, little haptic feedback when it hits the, the spot. So we're going to go up just a little bit. So it's nice. So it hits that spot. We're going to get the haptic feedback, right? And we're going to, and it connects. So now look at this. Now we have this. Now we're going to come over here and go boom, right? Look at this. And it's kind of snapping it for me. Now we're going to hit it again and we're going to pull it over. Boom. Pull it down again. And we're going to go right there. So, I mean, it's not the best in the world. It didn't quite get the top of it, right? Like I wanted it to. But when I go up there, it does. But look, look how good that is. All right, so it still needs a little bit of work. It's not perfect, but it's making moves. This is real life application things. This is what I love about it. This is what I love about Apple. I can use that. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the settings now. And uh, we're going to jump right into Do Not Disturb. Now look at this bedtime mode. This is the bedtime little button they, they were all excited about. Here's the next one, screen time, right? You can schedule downtime. Don't look at my passwords, Internet. Don't look at my passwords. So start and end downtime, right? During downtime, only apps you choose to allow and phone calls will be available. So this is to restrict people that uh, need help being restricted. Now, app limits. We've got some, uh, some limits on here. We can delete our limits. Super easy peasy. Delete social networking. And now we're starting fresh. All you have to do is hit add limits. We're going to do a entertainment and a social uh, networking and a health and fitness limit. So look at this. We're going to limit all of this to, let's say, four hours. There we go, four hours. So look, we've got a limit there. We're going to add another limit to creativity, and we're going to add 58 minutes to that. So there you go. So you set it, you come back, you forget it. Um, always allowed. These are choose apps you want at all times. So uh, you've got iMessage and FaceTime and obviously phone you can't get rid of that those you can get at all times so the rest all right let's, let's add Amazon and my recipes to it okay let's take off my recipes there we go getting rid of it all right now we can content all right so this is where we can allow and don't allow and all the sorts of other stuff so but uh, disable screen time passcodes, turn off screen time, clear data usage. So this, this helps give you more control of your stuff. It's what it does. I don't know if, uh, I don't have CarPlay in a car, so I can't demonstrate that to you. I wish I could. Um, now, Apple News, they said that they did redo that as well. I'll be honest. I've never really done anything with Apple News, so I don't. It's, look, it's the first time I'm opening it. Look at that. <laughs> it's literally the, the first time I'm looking at it. Siri suggests stories, channels, and topics based on Safari app use. You can change it in the settings. Okay. All right. Well, I, I, I don't... Spotlight. Okay. So, young and running, primary elections, in case you missed it. Okay. That. Look at this on-screen animation. Look at this, guys. This is so much different than from before. Wow. This is this is something. Let's let's take a look at that. Let's swipe up and hold. Right? Look at all of our stuff that we got open. But look at this. We're we're gonna close close our calculator. Now historically in the past, we have to push and hold and wait for our little do not enter 
sign to pop up so then we can swipe up but now we can just swipe up once we're in this menu we can swipe up not swipe down does nothing right still nothing but we can swipe up look at this guys look how awesome this is all right so that is the the big new features of ios 12 right there's some good stuff in there there's some fun stuff i encourage you not to run out and get the developer version like i did as you can see it has glitches but for a developer type of beta version i'm impressed this is running smooth it's making my calls it's doing my apps it's doing everything else there are glitches get used to it they're not going away if you want this early release you have to sacrifice i suggest if you must have it wait for the public beta version i think it's dropping on june 15th all right guys here at for the love of tech we are doing a giveaway we're always doing a giveaway what are we giving away i have a google home mini we're giving away we're like why are you giving stuff away because i always give stuff away i got a dex station specific to samsung users and here i have a one plus six and maybe two one plus sixes i don't know maybe i have two but for the most part there's going to be more stuff available in the giveaway. We just don't know what it is. When's the giveaway going to be? It's going to be July 4th. If you want to get involved and you want to get an entry into the giveaway, you have to first be subscribed to this YouTube channel. You have to second comment below with Roman numerals 833 dash and leave me a comment about what your favorite new feature is of iOS 12. If you're not impressed with iOS 12, I want to hear that too. Just give me my Roman numerals with a dash and a comment and you will get one additional entry into the giveaway. If you take this video right here and share it on social media, I will turn around and give you five additional entries into this giveaway. You have to share it on social media and send me a screenshot. Where do you send the screenshot? To Aaron a-R-O-N at the number four, the love of tech.com. That's right. Send me a screenshot of your social media share of this video, and I will give you five additional entries and take a giveaway. For the love of tech, thanks for watching. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, even if you're not going to get into the giveaway, and namaste.